Hey guys, this is Tanu and welcome back to my channel. So today is our leg day and today we will train every major muscle group uh, in our legs like quads, calves, hamstrings, glutes, everything. So last time you are going to be a burn pill. So we will do total uh, 10 workouts today and uh, we will do 3 sets in every workout. Uh, but uh, static lunges we have 4 sets in each uh, leg we have 2 sets lagayenge. so it will be 4 4 sets of static lunges and then at the end we will do 1 minute of bodyweight pulse squat and then bodyweight rear lunge it will be finisher so it will be a great workout for your leg so stay tuned and join me and have fun so yeah and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave guys so now without doing further ado, let's get started hey guys welcome to your leg day so our today's first workout is high squat for that rest a dumbbell on each shoulder with the dumbbell end pointing forward position the feet about as wide as the hips keep the heels planted firmly on the floor and do not allow them to rise up during the exercise brace the abdominal muscles you can identify these pretending to clear your throat or by coughing you will notice the abs tightening automatically in the stomach region stand tall shoulders pulled back with good balance Point your butt backward as you start to lower your body by bending at the knees. Make this a deliberate movement. Descend to where your thighs are parallel to the floor. Less than the full distance is okay until you develop good form. Press into your heels to straighten your knees and hips and rise back up to standing position. Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty faces. All the time Picture so perfect we play through Only cause you set up the angle Web that you we've got us tangled Caught in what's before our eyes Avoid these common mistakes So that you get the most from this exercise And avoid a strain or any kind of injuries Number 1. Don't round the back Going down or coming up Number 2. Keep those heels planted firmly on the ground Keep the lined up with the feet And not split in or out Number 3. Try not to look down. Look straight ahead or at least be aware that your back and butt are in the correct position. Chest tall and butt extended. And number 4. Don't start with weights that are too heavy. Try one set of 10 to 12 squats at a manageable weight. Then increase the weight for an additional 2 to 3 sets until you are sufficiently challenged. Don't make mistakes, it isn't perfection What is it we chase? Bow for your 15 seconds of fame It's your time The dumbbell squat targets the quadriceps muscles in the front of the thighs and the gluteus maximus in the buttocks The hamstrings at the back of the thighs and the soleus in the calves act to stabilize as well These are all large muscles and the squat exercise builds functional fitness workout is static lunges stand up straight with a dumbbell in each hand hang your arms at your sides palms should face the thighs like hammer grip feet should be a little less than shoulder width apart take a deep step forward with either leg bending at the knee until the front thigh approaches parallel to the ground landing on the heel inhale as you go down the rear leg is bent at the knee and balanced on the toes for the leg you step forward with, don't let the knee go past the tip of the toes. Step back to your standing starting position while exhaling. Repeat the motion with the other leg, alternate legs until the exercise program set is complete. A number to aim for is 8 to 12 lunges per set and 2 to 3 sets in a workout. Here are 
few tips so that you can avoid any kind of injuries while performing static lunges. Number 1. Be careful that the knee of the forward leg does not extend past the toes as you bend the leg. This can aggravate the knee joint if done too much and lead to an injury. Number 2. Keep your back straight and torso upright as you lunge. If you find yourself leaning or rounding your back, be sure to draw in your abs before taking a step and use a lighter weight or no weight until you are able to do it properly. Number 3. The back knee should be in line with your body and pointed at the floor at the bottom of the lunge. Number 4. If your feet are too close together, you will put more of the force on your knees rather than your thigh muscles. So adjust the width of your stance to find the right distance. Quadriceps muscle at the front of the thigh is the main target for the lunge. Your quadriceps are used to straighten the knee from a bent position and they also help keep your kneecap in the proper position. One of the four quadriceps muscles, the rectus femoris, also acts as a hip flexor, drawing your torso towards your thigh and vice versa. Gotta just be honest, I've been in my bed, reinforce my walls with all these hypotheticals. When it comes to you, no one really compares, but I'm scared and I'm nervous, I don't wanna get This compound exercise also employs the gluteus maximus of the buttocks, the adductor magnus of the inner thigh and the soleus of the calf. As your balance is challenged, stabilizer muscles of your back and legs come into play. Add this together and you get a much more functional exercise than simply using a machine to isolate your quads. So here is your next workout that is dumbbell romanian deadlift begin by standing with your feet hip width apart and knees slightly bent hold one dumbbell in each hand and place them in front of hips with palms facing thighs keeping your spine in a neutral position and squeezing the shoulder blades start sending the hips back lower dumbbells down so they are in front of your shins keeping them close to the body once they pass the knees do not allow the hips to sink further Maintain a neutral spine and drive through hills to fully extend hips and knees, squeezing glutes at the top. So here are a few tips for you. Number 1. Engage your core to actively straighten your back for an all-around more effective move. Number 2. By slowing each movement down, you will feel it in all the right places. Number 3. To make sure you are holding the dumbbells correctly, wrap your thumb underneath the grip with your fingers over it and keep your wrists as straight as possible throughout the exercise. Dumbbell Romanian Deadlift, also known as the Dumbbell RDL. The Dumbbell Romanian Deadlift walks your hamstrings, glutes and your lower back. So it is an essential exercise for building strength in your legs and lower back. Not only will this exercise boost your lower body strength, it will help you develop proper form on other exercises as well. Don't feel like having a bad life. I still can't.
Thanks all ten lines. Oh my, am I alright? Thanks for asking, doing just fine. Can I say that you're looking real nice? We'll love to chat right now before I get high. When you came to my eyes, I feel like I'm on cloud nine. You bang harder than Fourth of July. I think I can go all night, yeah. The way you bite your lips, blush and smile you give. You're just so stunning. Our next workout is Katsi lunge. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, hold a weight in each hand and with your palms facing in toward each other. This is the starting position. Step your right foot diagonally behind you and lower your right knee until it almost touches the ground. Your front knee should bend about 90 degrees. Push through your left heel to stand back up and straighten your left leg move immediately into the next rep. Complete all your reps on one side and then repeat on the other side. Arthur Unit, Marshall Summit, Lady Titty, Helen Tipsy, Feeling Dizzy, Gone Already, Getting Cross, Drinking Henny, Blow One on the Rock, Crazy Better Not Like C Lil, Take a Foul Shot and Call it a Free Throw, Party Foul, Party Foul, Help Around, Grab a Towel. Although squats, deadlifts and lunges are considered the kings of leg exercises, there is another move you should not neglect that is curtsy lunges. Curtsy lunge targets the main muscles involved in a lunge, the quads and the glutes, but also engages some additional movers. When your leg crosses back and around, the gluteus medius on the stationary leg fires up. The hip abductors which bring your thighs together are also engaged. Curtsy lunges also aid in strengthening the inner thigh area. points to remember that ensure that your chest stays upright and your gaze stays directly ahead. Make sure you're lowering your thigh as close to parallel to the ground as it will go before returning to your starting position and your hips should stay square with the rest of your body during a curtsy lunge. If you twist your hips as you are curtsying, you will lose the activation in your glutes and hips. workout is dumbbell calf raise. To do a calf raise with dumbbells, hold a dumbbell in each hand and stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. Let your arms hang straight below your shoulders, rise up onto your toes then slowly return to the starting position. You will feel tension in the muscles in the back of your lower legs. When you are doing calf raises, keep your back and knees straight. If you have trouble balancing, use a chair or pole for added stability. 
one set of 12 to 15 repetitions is adequate remember for the best results keep your knee straight and your movement smooth and controlled Cuff raises are an easy, low-impact method for strengthening the gastrocnemius and soleus. Strong cuff muscles result in better stability and balance, decreased risk of ankle and knee injuries, and better agility when running and jumping. Once strengthened, the first twitch muscle fibers of the gastrocnemius allow more rapid, explosive movement, making this a great exercise for amateurs and athletes alike. Our next workout is suitcase deadlift. So place a pair of dumbbells on the floor on either side of your feet. Stand upright with your feet close to each other. Keep your core tight, back straight, chest up and eyes looking forward. That's the starting position. Bend your knees and hinge at your hips to lower down and grab the dumbbells with a neutral grip. Keep your arms straight and your palms should be facing your body. Now push through your heels to stand up straight and make sure your lower body engaged while standing straight. Your hips should slightly come forward while returning to the standing position. When you completely stand up, hold for a couple seconds then reverse the steps and lower the weights but if you want to perform more than one rep do not leave the dumbbells on the ground keep holding the dumbbells in your arms and repeat the same steps for the second rep do as many reps you can life in a world that keeps changing think that it's progress you're making copy and paste pretty faces all the time Picture so perfect we play through Only cause you set up the angle Web that you we've got us tangled Caught in what's before our eyes Show So there are many benefits to doing suitcase deadlift Like it helps to correct any muscle imbalances in the core, hamstrings, abdominals and shoulders Improves posture, improves strength in your muscles, ligaments and tendons Decreased lower back pain makes your core and shoulders more resistant to injury improves flexibility and balance in your body improves coordination between different muscles increase increases range of motion in your hips improves your strength in other sports and activities that involve the use of the core Imperfection, what is it we chase? Bow for your 15 seconds of fame. It's your time. And here are a few tips to remember while you're performing suitcase deadlift. Like you should engage your core while performing this deadlift. You do a hip hinge motion and always keep your shoulders down and back. I'll keep doing mine. workout is lateral lunges so hold a dumbbell with both hands at uh, your uh, in front of your chest with elbows bent and plant 
both feet on the floor shoulder width apart this is your starting position inhale keeping your right foot on the floor release your left foot and take a big step to your left holding the dumbbells between your legs or in front of your chest as you plant your foot on the floor bend your left knee ensuring that your right leg remains straight and repeat the same thing with the other leg Lateral lunges develop balance, stability and strength. They walk your inner and outer thighs and even may help to reduce the appearance of cellulite. Side lunges train your body to move side to side, which is a nice change from your body's normal forward or twisting movements. Plus, side lunges target your quadriceps, hips and legs at a slightly different angle, thus working them a little differently. So pay attention to the outsides of your legs and work on activating these muscles as you do these lunges. And here are a few tips to remember. Number 1. The knee of the supporting leg, which we take aside, does not go forward too. Number 2. The heel of the supporting leg is pressed to the floor at the moment of lunge. Number 3. The back remains straight during the entire phase of the exercise, does not hump. Number 4. The step to the side should be wide to stretch the muscles as much as possible. And lastly, squat should be deep enough to include gluteal muscles. So our next workout is sumo deadlift. Start with a wide stance with toes pointed out at a 45 degree angle. Your stance should be as wide as you can comfortably manage without losing balance. Slightly bend your knees and push your hips back. Your back should be straight and your head up. Position the dumbbells in your hands so they are held outside or inside of your legs. With a slow movement. Begin uh, by driving the body upward with legs while maintaining a flat back. At the top of the movement, contract your glutes to pull yourself to a standing position. Lower the dumbbells to the starting position. The glutes are activated the most in the sumo deadlift. They are the primary muscle that is used to get out of a squatting position. A stronger gluteal muscle will help improve every lower body exercise. The quads get a strong workout during this exercise as well. The front of the legs is worked with every repetition as they assist in pulling the body up. The hamstrings and lower back also contribute to this exercise although they are involved to a lesser degree than the glutes and quads.
the dumbbell sumo deadlift is not as difficult to learn as the conventional sumo deadlift but has many benefits the movement puts less stress on your pecs and deltoids than the traditional version but still works them very nicely it allows for a deeper squat position than the traditional sumo deadlift which gives you more range of motion this adds a little more muscle building potential to your routine Our next workout is staggered squat. To do the staggered squat, start with your feet between hip width and shoulder width apart. Then step one foot back so that your toe is even with the heel of the front foot. Raise the heel of the back foot up of the ground. Then sit back and squat down as low as you can. You can do this move with holding a dumbbell in the rack or goblet position as well, or you can hold the dumbbell down in front like. with the sumo squat you can even use a barbell dumbbells or sandbag or kettlebell just make sure your back heel stays up to put more emphasis on the walking leg also make sure that the front heel stays down do not go forward onto your toe This exercise introduces single leg training while maintaining stability. The benefit of the slight split in the stance is that hips are allowed more freedom to move. Plus, this stance can help trainee squat deeper when ankle mobility is limited. This unique stance can help you squat deeper thus making you use your muscles through a greater range of motion. Plus, this stance works well for hip hinge exercises like Romanian deadlift and good morning in that balance can still be maintained while the emphasis is more unilateral so perfect we play through only cuz you set up the angle web that you we've got us tangled caught in what's before our eyes show off your fantasy reality whoa that's yours but i'll keep doing mine
नेक्स्ट वर्कआउट इज बॉडी वेट स्पाल स्क्वाट स्टैंड विथ फिट अबाउट शोल्डर विथ अबार्ट हैंड्स टूगेदर आउट इन फ्रंट अफ योर बडी स्क्वाट डाउन पार्शियलि अबाउट अ क्वाटर अफ द वे डाउन एज यू उड फर अ नर्मल स्क्वाट दिस इज द स्टार्टिंग पोजिशन बिगिन एक्सरसाइज बै पालसिंग अप एंड डाउन लोअरिंग योर बट अप एंड डाउन अबाउट सिक्स इंचेस और सो इट फॉर द डिजायर नम्बर्स और रिपिटेशन्स सो बॉडी वेट पाल स्क्वाट टार्गेट्स the quads and to a lesser degree also targets the glutes and hamstrings someone who says the small than meets the eye show off your fantasy reality whoa that's yours but i'll keep doing Our last workout is body weight rear lunges. Sit up with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms by your sides. Sit back with one leg and allow both knees to bend simultaneously. Descend until the back knee touches the floor. Drive through the front foot and extend the knees as you stand up fully and return to the starting position. Repeat for the desired number of repetitions. This workout engages your core and abdominal muscles it helps you build stability which when you move your hips up and down a stronger core allows you deal with lower back pain and improves your balance and posture as well lunges train one part of your body independently from the other at time guys you are awesome i hope that you have enjoyed this 3 days of push pull leg series Now you have to cool down yourself. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope that you like my workouts if you have come to this far. So if you like my workouts then please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you never miss out any of my latest videos. Keep coming back love you all take care